Good day everyone, I'm Sir Arzy Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about illustrating a linear function. Let us define first what is a linear function. A linear function which ordered pair satisfies the linear equation. Any linear equation can be written in the form of a y is equals to mx plus b or f of x is equals to mx plus b, where your m and b are real numbers, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. Okay, you need to remember in a linear function, the, the highest degree of exponent is equal to 1. In the form, y is equals to mx plus b. Again, you need uh, in identifying linear equation or a linear function, uh, you just need to remember that the exponent or the greatest exponent is equal to 1 and in the form f of x is equal to mx plus b or y is equal to mx plus b. We need also to remember that m, if your m is not equal to 0, then the degree of their function is equal to 1. If m is 0 and your b is not equal to 0, then the degree of the function is 0. If m is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0, then the degree of the function is not defined or undefined. Furthermore, uh, the linear function has one independent variable and one independent variable. In the graph of the non-vertical uh, straight line, if a function is linear, then it can be represented by a linear equation. Let us recall the linear equation can be written in different forms. Here, let us recall the forms of linear equation. So we have slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, same in the linear function or identifying it in the linear equation, where your m is the slope and, b, and your b is the y-intercept. In the standard form, we have ax plus b, y is equal to c, where your a, b, and c are integers, and your a is greater than or equal to 0. a and b can be 0, but not both at the same time. In general form, we have ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, where your a or b can be 0, but not both at the same time. When a linear equation is written in the standard form, we notice that both x and y has the highest degree of exponent 1. And x and y are not multiplied together. And x is, and y does not appear in denominators, exponent, or radicands. Again, in identifying linear equation or linear function, we need to have in a form y is equals to mx plus b. Let's have uh, the illustrative example 1. Which of the following function inside the box are linear? Let's start with f of x is equals to to x minus 2. That is a linear function. Since the highest exponent is 1, no, so we have here the highest exponent for this uh, uh, m of, m of uh, mx here is 1. And then it is written in the form f of x is equal to mx plus b. Next, we have f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Again, uh, how can we consider uh, the given linear function, uh, the given uh, linear equation to linear function if our highest degree of exponent is 1 and written in the form f of x is equal to mx plus b. So here in the given 3x squared plus 2x plus minus 1, the highest degree is 2. So that means that is not a linear function. It is a quadratic function. Next, we have f of x is equals to negative 2x. Okay, as you noticed here, yes, it is in a form into y is equals to mx. But where is the b here or the y-intercept? So, uh, it is considered also to be a linear function. But then, where your b is equal to 0. Again, it satisfies that the, the highest degree of the exponent is 1 and it is written in the form f of x is equal to mx plus b. But your y-intercept or your b is equal to 0. Next, we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Here, it is not or is not a linear function since the highest exponent of x is not 1. It is 3, the highest degree of exponent in this example. Next, we have 
f of x is equals to 2 raised to x minus 3. That is not a linear function. Since it is not in the written in the form, f of x is equals to mx plus b. In this example, no, the x here is the exponent. That is not an example or that is not in the form of f, f of x is equals to mx plus b. Next, we have f of xy is equals to 5xy. So that is not a linear function again. Since the two variables are multiplied together and cannot be written in the form y is equals to mx plus b or f of x is equals to mx plus b. Again, we need to remember again, no? Uh, it is considered not a linear function if your x is in the denominator uh, in the radical form uh, into exponent form and then uh, in two variables, no? So, illustrative example number two. Let us verify whether the function described by the given table of values is a linear. Here, we have here a table of values A. We have A, B, and C example. So, let's start with A. Now, how can we identify if the given uh, table of values is considered to be a linear function? If the first difference of the x-coordinate are equal to the first difference of your y-coordinates are equal, then the function is linear. However, if the first difference of the coordinates are equal, but the first difference of the y-coordinates are not equal, then the function is not linear. Let's go to example letter A. So let us examine first the difference of x-coordinates and y-coordinates. Now, 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Let's go now. So the, the common difference are equal here in x coordinate, which is 1, 1, 1. Now in y, we have 14 minus 10, 4. 10 minus 6, 4. 6 minus 2, 4. We have here uh, equal ang kanilang common difference. Since the first difference of the x coordinates are equal and the first difference of the y coordinates are also equal, then the table of values of the describe uh, table of values describes a linear function. Again, let us uh, remember if we have a given table of values, you just need to check the first common difference of the x coordinate and y coordinate. If they are equal, the x coordinate, the first difference or the y x coordinate are equal, and the y coordinate or so the first common difference are equal. That means the given table of values is a linear function. Next, we have here. Now you look at the table of values. We have x, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. We have f of x or y. We have 7, 4, 1, and negative 2. 4 minus 2, let's us, let us examine first in the x coordinate. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. So negative times negative 2 is positive 2. That means that their first difference, their first common difference are equal. Next, we have negative 2 minus negative uh, minus 1, that is negative 3. 1 minus 4, that is negative 3. 4 minus 7, we have negative 3. The first common difference are equal, which is negative 3. Since the first difference of x coordinate are equal, and the first difference of the y coordinates are also equal, then the table of values describe a linear function. Next, in example C, now you look at in the x coordinate, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 0 is 2, 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. And then in y coordinate, 16 minus 4, we have 12, 0, uh, 4 minus 0 is 4, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Now, the first difference of the x coordinates are equal, but the difference on the y coordinates are not equal. Thus, the table of values does not describe a linear function. Now, in finding the domain and range of the linear function, if a function is defined by f of x is equals to mx plus b, where your m is not equal to 0, the domain, which is d, of the functions is the set of all real numbers. And the range 
or the R of the functions is the set of all real numbers. So again, you need to remember, given a linear function, no linear functions, the domain and range is the set of all the real numbers. Na so. For, so we have here, the, the domain of the function or the domain of the functions is the set of all x such that x is an element of the set of real numbers. Now, in your range, the range of the functions is the set of all y such that y is an element of the set of all real numbers. Okay, what is, again, let us recall what is what are real numbers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. Under rational numbers, there are natural numbers, which are counting numbers, whole numbers, including zero, integers, and rational numbers are terminating and repeating decimals. And irrational numbers are non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Let's have an example. Find the domain of range of the linear function. Letter A, f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. Now, this is example. Is it a linear function or not? Yes, that is a linear function. That means, diritso na, ang domain natin is the domain of function is the set of all x such that x is an element of, uh, of the element of real numbers. And then, the range here is the range of the functions if this is the set of all y such that y is an element of the real numbers. And then in B, since we have here, example B is f of x is equal to 7x. That means letter B is considered also to be a linear function. That means the domain is the set of all elements of x such, uh, of x such that x is an element of real numbers. And the range also is the set of all elements of y such that y is an element of real numbers. Now, in slope of a linear function, the slope m is usually referred as the rate of change in y over the rate of change in x. So, the slope is change in y over change in of x. That means rise over run. To find the slope, you just need to determine how much the value of x and y change. So, we have here illustrative example. Suppose that the graph of the following coordinates written in the tabular form determine the slope. So we have x coordinates, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. And y coordinate, we have 8, 5, 2, and negative 1, and negative 4. So let us check first their common difference, if it's equal. So we have here 6 minus 4, 2, 4 minus 2, 2, 2 minus 0, 2, 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. Their first common difference are equal. Next, we have negative 4 minus, uh, minus negative 1, that is negative 3. Negative 1 minus negative 2, negative 3. Ne uh, 2 minus 5, that is negative 3. 5 minus 8, that is negative 3. So the values of x constantly increases by 2, and the values of y constantly decreases by 3. Thus, the slope, again, the slope is the change in y, over the change of x so that means you look at the numerator will indicate the change in y which is the y coordinate that is negative 3 and the numerator is the change in x is that is positive 2 of your x coordinate now for your activity you need to answer this one in your notebook activity number one my other side so the box below contains four linear equation in standard form and four linear functions. Your task is to match the given linear equation to its equivalent linear function. Then determine the slope, the x-intercept, the y-intercept of each equation. Write your answer in the following table. So you need, just need to copy the direction, copy the table, copy the table here, and match the given linear equation in the form ax plus by is equal to c and linear function of f of x is equal to mx plus b. Find the slope, the x-intercept, and the y-intercept. And answer the guide question. Copy and answer. For activity number two, that's my point. 
The graph of the linear function f of x is equal to mx plus b consists of all points that satisfy the linear function. Since the domain of the linear function in the set of all real numbers, then any real number can be chosen as the values of your table values of x. And this activity enables you to describe the function by its table of values. Direction. We just need to complete the table of below by finding the f of x given the values of x. So we have here the given functions now. And the values of your x here is also known na. We just need to substitute it to the your given function and find the value of your f of x or y. Then complete the table. So that means your x here is identified na negative 2, 0, 3. We have here also negative 2, 0, 3. Negative 2, 0, 3. Negative 2, 0, 3. Just need to find the f of x or the y values. And number 5 example here and answer the guide questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your grade 8 friends. Thank you so much everyone. Goodbye.